going on guys back at it again with another fallout 4 video here for you guys on the channel it really feels like forever since i made a fallout 4 video uh so i kind of wanted to go back into it man i really do love this game very much and in a previous video per you guys' request we ended up siding with the railroad so that's what i have committed to that's what we're going to be doing so we're going to be continuing on with the railroad storyline but of course in doing so we have to be undercover for the railroad which means we're going to be doing some missions for so, uh for the institute so there's that if you're excited for this video though do me a huge favor drop a like on this video also subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed because it really does help this channel grow so with that being said enough yapping let's just jump right into this all right so we have to go to the institute i believe and talk to father so let's go ahead and do that. Father, that's such such a weird thing, man, because his name is Father. He's the father of the Institute, but yet I'm his father. I don't know. It's pretty weird. Kind of funny when you think about it, but weird nonetheless. So uh, one thing, once we actually finish this uh, Let's Play, as far as the main story, before we actually start tackling some of the DLC for this game, I'm going to upgrade my pc in terms of the ssd i need a bigger hard drive or bigger ssd essentially uh, so i will be transferring all of my i guess progress uh my save my game save over to the ssd so that we can have faster load times man i don't want to do it yet just okay. yes, I... all right but yeah let's talk to father you wanted to see me I understand mass fusion was a success. It was. Despite interference from the Brotherhood of Steel. Uh, we got it handled. We handled them just fine. That's what Dr. Fillmore reported. I'm quite pleased at the results. Would have been a terrible setback to lose that technology to those savages. The Brotherhood's intervention must be placed in a larger context, however, given their pension for hoarding technology. Future conflict with them is guaranteed. We are, after all, keepers of the most advanced technology in the Commonwealth, if not beyond. Perhaps. We also cannot go unnoticed that there were concerns within the Institute about your allegiances. What? I, of course, never doubted your commitment to our cause. But by directly confronting the Brotherhood, I think you've put some others at ease. Good. I'm proud of you. Thank you, Regardless, son. The Brotherhood is an issue for the future. And we must focus on the present. And look at me. I like presents. Rambling on like the old man I am. I'm wasting time. You're needed elsewhere at once. Where? Um, more reactor parts, I'm assuming? Do you need more parts for the reactor? I could have gotten them while I was out. No, this is a different matter. Hopefully one that does not put anyone at risk. This situation, I'm afraid, is something of your creation, however unintentional. Wait. What do you mean? What happened? What do you mean by that? What's happened? Well, while you were assisting Dr. Fillmore, a second team was sent out to invite someone from the Commonwealth to join the Institute. Apparently, there was some miscommunication, and this individual called for help, which arrived in the form of your Minutemen. My Gasp. understanding is that no shots have been fired. I would like it to stay that way. I need you to go there. And speak to your Minutemen gathered outside. Insist that they stand down at once. Dr. Thompson is on site, and he will be your primary contact. I know you can resolve this situation. But it is of paramount importance that this special individual be brought to the Institute immediately. Um, what's so special about this guy? Why all this effort? What's so special about this person? Mr. Wallace? Despite a lack of formal training, our surveillance has shown he has incredible intellect. With his help, we may be able to drastically speed up work on the reactor. Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess you're just gonna walk away from me then. Uh, so let's go ahead and fast travel. Okay, it's over here by Grey Garden. Um, where do I want to go? I haven't even discovered Grey Garden. I guess we could go to... Let's go to the Cambridge Police Station. I know it's a little farther away. Yeah, sure, why not? Let's just go there and we'll run there. It's a, it's kind of a long distance, but we should be able to get there no problem. Just kind of sucks that we have to go so far away, though. I wish at some point we uh, had discovered Grey Garden. 
it's actually a pretty cool location uh when you think about it man it's like the only settlement completely ran by mr handies and miss nannies it's actually pretty cool it's kind of funny though because when i have like a minuteman playthrough i like to keep them as robots even set like with the uh automaton uh automatron uh dlc or whatever i like to make a robot uh i guess uh what are they called um where they go between settlements i can't remember for some reason i'm having a brain fart wait who the oh yeah i forgot i totally forgot i was the enemies <laughs> oh well i'm not gonna fight them right now run Get out of here. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, uh, you guys missed. All right, let's go. Screw it. What's up? Come on. That's all you guys got? Well, it's not all he's got. No. Give me, give me the Pharrell ghouls. There we go. Dead. Dead. I'm not gonna deny free uh, XP. Come on, buddy. You can do it. There you go. Good job. All right, whatever. Wait, there's somebody else. Uh, forget it. I'm not worried about it. You know, for being a stealthy individual through the railroad. I'm not very stealthy at all, am I? Get out of my way, tree. Actually, I, th I think we're actually almost there. You, could, I can always tell because of this overpass. There it is, right there. That's Grey Garden. Get out of the way. I got stuck. Alright, let's go. See there, you can already see the, the Mr. Handies and things. The leader is actually a Miss Nanny. I'm not going to worry about it yet. Uh, you know what? No, yeah, I'm not going to worry about it yet. Let's just go. It's actually the neighbor. These guys are so cool. What? Where's that pack Brahmin going? I'm not sure. There they are. Hey, what's up, man? I wanted to talk to you. Yeah? Hi. What's going on here? You're an unexpected surprise. We could use the backup. These Institute bastards aren't getting away. They'll have to go through us to get out of there. We don't know quite what we're up against, but it's good you're here to help. Uh, how did you hear about this? Um... What's the situation? Can you bring me up to speed on the situation? Commonwealth Citizen lives in that there observatory. Institute thug showed up to haul him off, only he spotted him coming. He managed to fire off a flare gun, got our attention, and we got up here as quick as we could. Now they're trapped inside. So, how do you want to play this? We thought about trying to lure them out here, since it'd be easier to kill them. But then we realized we probably ought to storm the place to make sure they can't disappear on us. That makes sense, right? So, you want to lead the charge? Uh, I mean, we're good. Uh, just stand down for now, right? No one is going to do anything. Tell your men to stand down. I don't... Are you kidding me? Uh, no. do something now, they're gonna take that poor guy wherever it is they go. And we'll have failed. Again. Are you gonna order the attack or not? Uh, look, there's just a misunderstanding, right? I'll talk to him. This whole thing is just a misunderstanding. A misunderstanding? Can't wait to hear this. Explain to me how this is a misunderstanding. Um. Oh, God. Oh, uh, we can work together? The Institute wants the same things you do. We can find a way to work Come together. on. I don't know about yes, that. Yes, we did it. Look, if nothing else, you'd best get in there and make sure that man's okay. I'll make sure no one makes a move on him in the meantime. But, well, you'd better be right about this. Oh, just relax, all right? Um, It says that I need to go up there, but I can actually go through the bottom. I don't know why it gives me the marker to go upstairs, though. That's kind of weird. I always thought that was weird. There's no real reason to go through the upstairs door. Oh, hello. 
What's up, guys? Thank God you're here. I was starting to worry we might not make it out of this mess. Um, look, take a step back, man. What happened? How exactly did this happen? I'm not suited for field work. I've said that over and over, and they sent me anyway. There was no indication that Wallace had been in contact with anyone or was aware that we might be watching him. If I'd known, I'd... I don't know. Maybe I'd have tried to handle things differently. I know he's potentially important to Phase 3 and all, but I'm not sure it's worth putting ourselves in harm's way. Um, look. It's very important, man. Anything that they sent you with, uh... Well, you know what? First of all, why did they send you? Why did the Institute send you specifically? They thought I'd be able to relate to him with my scientific background. I know they've been keeping an eye on him for years. Not sure how they originally found him, but probably don't want to know. But once they realized how smart he was and what an asset he could be for Phase 3, they watched pretty closely. I think they even fed him scientific material from time to time to see how good he was, you know, testing him. To see if he was Institute material. That doesn't surprise me. get Wallace and get out of here. Um. All right, whatever, let's go. No argument from me. Let's go. Right. There's just, well, there's a slight problem with that. He doesn't want to go with us. I was thinking, maybe you could try and talk to him. Um, any advice? <sighs> any advice on how to talk to him? Don't make him angry. Let him know we're not going to hurt him. In fact, his life would improve considerably. Okay. Okay, so I got I, this kind of bothers me like I want to face this while I talk to him all right ready and Well, let's quick save here just in case Mr. Wallace. I'm here to talk to you. You're another one of, uh, of them aren't you? Nope. Are you a robot? Uh, Look just please relax, okay, please try and relax I know this is an unusual situation. No! You're here to kidnap me! That's what you people do, isn't it? If you even are people. Uh-oh. I've heard all the stories. I know exactly what happens to people when the Institute shows up. Well, it's not happening to me. Um, look, relax, all right? Hey, just calm down, okay? I just want to talk to you. <sighs> fine, fine. Woo! What do you want from me? Uh, we need your help, actually. The Institute needs your help, Mr. Wallace. It's as simple as that. My help? With... with what? You're a genius! The Institute has an engineering problem that your scientific expertise could help solve. In exchange for helping us out, you'd be granted access to the most advanced research facility imaginable. Whatever research you wanted to perform, anything, it's possible there. I promise. You'd be safe and secure in a way that's completely impossible anywhere else. Uh Well you'll be you'll be helping to create a better world. You'd be helping us create a better world. <laughs> that That sounds good. Okay, fine. Yay! I'll go. I'm looking forward to working for you, future director. <sighs> uh thank you. Okay. <laughs> I think we've got this under control now. Thanks. I mean, thanks for the assist. No problem, man. Uh, do you need any help bring him in? You're gonna bring him in immediately, right? Oh, yeah. Don't want him to start second guessing the decision. I'll see you back in the Institute. Will do. Good job, Enrico, whatever your name is. Oh, leveled up. Nice. See, that wasn't a big deal. We managed to do it. Luckily for us, though, we got our charisma really high. I think it's maxed out, actually. So, that really wasn't too much. I mean, technically, you could still fail those speech checks, I think. But if you're maxed out on charisma, I don't... I think that's that chance is very, very low. I've personally never had a situation... Hey, look. Are you okay? Hey there. All right, yeah, he doesn't he doesn't want to talk to me anymore. All right, so now we go where? Hold on, where's our next mission? All oh, powering up. Speak to father. Will do. 
they just witnessed me teleport too, so they know I'm involved with the tel with the Minutemen. They know I'm involved with the Institute. I just teleported to the Institute. Dun dun dun. Father's gonna be so proud of me. <laughs> I love this game. Um. That rogue synth at Libertalia. Shut up! No one cares about the rogue synth. Hurry up! Let's go. They they don't they can't even tell that I'm like a part of the institute and uh I mean of the railroad with that patch on the my backpack. <laughs> there you are. I cannot express how pleased I am. Thank you. Our new guest is familiarizing himself with this arrival. Yet he's already pointed out several inefficiencies in our methods. With his help, Phase 3 will be ready in no time. And it's all thanks to you. Good. Uh, how close are we to finishing it anyways? A lot of work went into this before I even arrived. Just how close are we? It shouldn't take long at all. The facilities division has it well in hand. There is one more part for you to play. And I think you might enjoy it. It is time to announce our presence to the Commonwealth. Gasp! To request that they do not interfere with our plans. You should be the one to do it. Um... Wait, what do you mean an announcement? What kind of announcement are we talking about? A broadcast. An announcement to the Commonwealth that the Institute is not to be trifled with. As the incoming director, that responsibility naturally falls to you. We've prepared some remarks for you to record. Once you're finished, We'll broadcast them to the entire Commonwealth. Use the microphone here and follow this script. It's quite simple. I'm sure you'll do fine, Father. Um. Hold on. Let's read that script. Inventory miscellaneous, maybe? What was it called? Oh, crap. I don't remember what it's called. <clears throat> Let me see. Um. Oh no. I don't remember what it's called. It can't be this far. It's mass fusion. Um, the safe houses. I don't know where it's at. Let's check the beginning. Maybe I missed it. I think it was under A, no? Oh, announcement script. Duh, it was literally the first thing. Honestly, for years now, you have suspected that the Institute still exists, that we are among you. It is true, uh, but it is not the whole truth. We are the future. Our superior technology represents the future of the Commonwealth. Today, we activate our nuclear reactor, ensuring that we will preserve long after the world above ground has ceased to exist, ensuring that mankind has a future. We have no desire to interfere in the unimportant details of your daily lives. Uh, we simply ask that you do not interfere with the inst Institute's uh, operations. To do so would result in dire consequences. You may rest easy. Know that the tr that the future is in safe hands. That mankind will thrive under our guidance. Okay then. Let's see if we can uh, better that a little bit. For years now, <clears throat> you have suspected that the Institute still exists. That we are among you. It is true. But it is not the whole truth. We're here. And we are. Homo sapiens. <laughs> Not, actually, that's still a lie, too, because most of them are since. Uh, we are here to help. Here to help. Our superior technology represents the future of the Commonwealth. Today, we activate our nuclear reactor, ensuring that we will persevere long after the world above ground ceases to exist. Ensuring that mankind has a future. We have no desire to interfere in the unimportant details of your... Um, pathetic existences. Uh, personal freedoms. Personal freedoms. We simply insist that you do not interfere with Institute operations. To do so would result in... 
cannibalism. No? Your annihilation. <laughs> uh, let's go with tragedy for all. Tragedy for all involved. Rest <clears throat> easy. Know that the future is destroyed. <laughs> or we could go with the uh, insurance policy. Are you in good hands? Uh, that the future is looking bright. Looking bright. And that mankind will thrive under our guidance. Good. He's not going to be very happy. Interesting. Perhaps I better not did. what we originally intended. But it will certainly get your point across. Now it's time to make sure that everyone hears it. How would you feel about making a little trip to Diamond City? Uh, why? What do you want with Diamond City? Nothing with the city itself. This is a bit of a shortcut, actually. The radio station in Diamond City is listened to by many in the Commonwealth. If we'd like the people to hear what we have to say, it's the best way to reach them. Makes before sense. Before we preempt their broadcasts, we need to ensure it reaches the maximum range possible. I've been assured that the necessary parts are on site. You'll just need to install them to boost the broadcasting power. Report back when you're done. We should be ready by then. Okay, we'll do. Should be pretty easy. Uh, we could just literally fast travel there. So, Diamond City's down here. Let's go to the Diamond City Market. And then from there, we could just basically run over there to, to, uh, Mr. Lonely Miles. <laughs> a lot of people don't like him. Honestly, I don't have a problem with him. It's like people are annoyed by his, I guess, lack of confidence. But if you do the quest involved with him, I think it's called like Confidence Man or something like that. Uh, whatever it is, he changes into a very confident guy. And then at that point, I personally don't like him. I think he look. I think he's funny when. Uh, I think he's funny when he's all like lack of confidence and stuff. Where am I going? All right, let's go this way. Yeah, I think he's funny when. Uh, when he doesn't have consequence, uh, when he doesn't have confidence, he makes me laugh. Some of the things he says is pretty ridiculous. You hear about the battle between the Brotherhood? And nope, the never heard of it. Let's go. I gotta remember how these things go, though. I don't remember how they go. I'm actually gonna switch uh, point of view. Just to make it easier. There he is. <laughs> Hi. Um, let's pick all three of these up. Um, I guess we'll just try one of each like this. This goes here. Do I, wait, do I have to do something? Don't, uh, don't, don't break my stuff. If you, uh, if you don't. Alright, I'm gonna switch mind. these two. Alright, in you go. Okay, there we go. Alright, so let's... With buttons. Yeah, sorry, Travis. Let's try this and this. Hey, oh, wait. I messed up the first time. Hi. There we go. This should be it. Bingo. Speak with father. Don't mind if I do. I didn't mean to steal your toaster, Travis. I apologize. Now the broadcast is basically good to go. Diamond City is pretty... Wait, hold on. There's another area that I want to kind of discover. How do I get there, though? I wonder. Oh, wait. That's, um... That's the house that you could buy, right? Did I already buy it? I'm not sure. Is it here? Okay, so I do... I did buy it already. I just haven't been in there. Which I don't want to do quite yet. It's not really important anyways. 
Um, so now we gotta go speak to father. I want, I would prefer to avoid any unnecessary loading screens. At least until I transfer my save over to an SSD. I do want to get like an M.2 or something like that. Uh, 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 you know, a uh, hard drive or a SSD. Probably like a terabyte or something. Maybe more. Just so that I can have plenty of room. And I do want to upgrade my PC too. Wait, hold on. Is he in here? Yeah, he is. To be honest, man, I kind of want to build a new PC. Like, my PC is good and all. But it's kind of outdated at this point. Especially with next-gen consoles literally lurking around the corner. We're days away at this point from when you see this video. It's We're literally like less... Uh, what, like less than a week away? Or no, a couple weeks ago away or something like that? It's pretty intense, man. I can't wait, personally, man. Alright, let me see. This is the way to go. Excuse me. Okay, let's switch camera view or angles or whatever. Excuse me. Hi. I suppose congratulations are in order. Four. Okay then. Thank Sleep you. Is such a waste of time. Shut up. All right, let's talk to him. Enjoy your trip to the big city. It's done then? Yep. The transmitter has been modified. Yep. Uh, is the reactor ready? I'm all set. But what about the reactor? The initial round of tests is finished. All readings are nominal. So yes, I think we're ready. I'll let you do the honors. This, my friend. Good. Is the moment we have to go in here, right? Before we turn it on. There we go. Time has finally come to start our all right, let me see. Reactor status. Initiate reactor sequence. There we go. Let's hear his speech. To survive. No more will we need worry about outpacing our resources. My father and I couldn't be more proud of what you have helped us accomplish. And we look forward to achieving even greater things in the future. The Institute is now truly mankind's best hope. Good. All kind of. of Alright, hello. John, it's almost hard to believe. What? After all those years of hard work, here we are. We've arrived. Look what you've made possible. No big deal. So, what now? Now that the reactor works, what's next for the Institute? We'll get to that. There's more work to be done before the Institute's future is guaranteed. The Directorate has convened a meeting about how to proceed. I'm not going to attend. You should be there as director. Oh, snap. Let's go. Since I'm reckless, I'll just jump off the top. <laughs> All right. Maybe I should rest for like an hour or so. We don't usually work outside. Here, let's just sit here real quick. We'll rest for like an hour just so that all these guys can just leave. Are they gone? Yes. Because what happens is, by the time you get to the director at meeting, they're like nobody's there. They're all still walking there. You know, it's kind of annoying. This way kind of ensures that they are, since they've had plenty of time to get there. Excuse me. Excuse me. Coming through. I will now be the director of the Institute. I guess. At least temporarily, right? Excuse me. Coming through. Man, this these stairs are ridiculously long. Look at that, I'm like out of breath. Hold on, which way is it? Is it... 
the exact opposite direction? Nope, it's right here. Excuse me. May I be the first to welcome you, sir? Or look forward to working with you? He doesn't give praise lightly. Let's do this. Uh, do I have to talk to somebody? Uh, I'm happy to be here. I'm happy to be here, Dr. Fillmore. I hope I do the position justice. I'm sure you will. Right now, we're all here because it's finally time to stand up for ourselves. Let's not be dramatic, Justin. There's nothing dramatic about it. We're in a position to push back, to assert ourselves here. That's what we've talked about all along. To bring you up to speed, obviously there are groups in the Commonwealth that stand in opposition to the Institute's goals. With the reactor now online, we have the ability to not only expand synth production, but to project power to a much greater degree. Uh, or we could just, uh, improve lives, right? I'm sure the reactor will improve everyone's life. It's a great accomplishment. Yes, but it's not just that. The Directorate has agreed that steps must be taken to ensure our safety in the long run. Let's just spit it out, shall we? The Directorate has decided that the Brotherhood of Steel need to be eliminated. As the incoming Director, we felt it important to inform you of the decision and get your thoughts on it. So, where do you stand? Um, the Brotherhood, I mean, I'm already enemies with them, so might as well hit them hard, right? I agree. We hit them hard, before they have time to react to our new position. Good. That's just what I wanted to hear. As Director, it's up to you and how we focus our efforts in achieving this goal. We'd like your input on what direction we should take. Do we increase synth production or focus on weapons development? Um... I mean, I guess... Synth production? What's the results? What would the results of this choice be? I'd like to make a well-informed decision. Well, if we increase synth production, we'd be able to deploy more of them to the Commonwealth to aid in our operations. Weapon development would improve the weapons we have available to us now, making our synths more effective in the field. Which would you prefer we focus on? Um... Strength in numbers, I suppose? Synth production? Synths are the Institute's greatest strength. The more we have, the better off we are. Well said. I'll see that the necessary steps are taken. Thank you very much for your time, sir. That's Thank you, Ali. Thank moment. you. I believe Father wished to speak with you once our meeting concluded. Father has always been on the Well, where's Father? I suppose his choice of a successor should be Excuse me, excuse me, coming through. Where is Father, anyways? Alright, hold on. Uh, this way, end of the line. Speak with Father. Uh-oh. This doesn't sound very good, does it? Now I gotta go down the super long trek of, I don't know, something. Is he still walking over here? Like what is he doing? Nice work. OMG, I think he's still coming over here. Let's see here. Father, where are, yeah, dude, he's like, Remember to practice good gone. Where, where is this guy? Watch him not even be here anymore. He already like went through the door. There you are. Hey, what's up? Son. Ah, there you are. You've met with the director. I assume they made their intentions known? Yep. It was difficult for them to reach the decision to engage in open hostility. What about you? Do you agree with their decision? Eh, it doesn't, it doesn't bother me. It's the right thing to do. It's the only way we can ensure the Institute's safety. That makes it the right thing to do. I'm glad you agree. None what comes next will be easy. That conviction may help keep us all going. You know, Father, it's no secret that you worked with the Railroad in order to first reach the Institute. <gasps> Gasp! The depth of your involvement with them has been called into question repeatedly. I'm sure you can guess by whom. The question is... Where do you stand with them now? Do you count them amongst your allies? Who? The railroad? <laughs> no. Shh. I mean, <laughs> no. Uh, they're not important. How I feel about them isn't important. That's no, not what I wanted to say. Important. It's the only thing that matters <clears throat> right now. For the Institute's position in the Commonwealth to be secure, the railroad must be eliminated completely. 
As our primary above-ground operative and someone who has had previous contact with the railroad, you are in the best position to carry this out. So what I'm getting at, simply, is this. Are you willing to destroy them? Um... Yes? I can take care of them. Good. Good. I don't enjoy asking you to put yourself in harm's way. But this is so important. Yeah, um... That's just not gonna happen. Seeing as we it's are... Allies. So let's go talk to, uh... The good old people in the railroad. <clears throat> I don't know why I went through that loading screen. Seeing as I could literally just fast travel. Alright, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, the railroad... Dude, it's time to duel. Or to just talk to Desdemona. Little does the Institute know, I'm actually an undercover operative for the railroad. Um. Excuse me, don't mind me. Oh, yeah? Something on your mind? Hello. You don't look so good. Uh, I'm. I've been order. Do you trust me? Do you trust me? Trust is a scarce commodity in our organization. Let me answer you like this: I have put our future, and the future of all sims, in your hands. I didn't do that lightly, and you haven't given me a reason to regret that decision. It's a good thing you said that because I've actually been ordered to kill you. The Institute has ordered me to kill you. All of you. I guess they consider us a real threat after all. I suppose we should be flattered. Perhaps. So really, the question is, what are you going to do about it? Uh, I mean, of course I'm going to protect you guys, right? Of course I'm not going to go through with it. So, how do I deal with it? It's unfortunate things have progressed so fast. You need to stall them. Buy time any way you can and step up your operation with Patriot. That's all we can do. Good luck. Um. Wait, hold up. Desdemona. We've got an emergency. Glory spotted a courser near Dayton's safe house. We were hoping Bunker Hill bought us some time, but the Institute's continuing to dismantle our operation. Uh, how much trouble are we in? Is the situation that bad? Whenever we spot a courser, everyone hides. We hide deep, we hide long, until we know we're safe. We've never stayed around to see how fast the Institute can find and kill us all. So we're treading new ground here. Uh, just one courser? All that, if you spot a single courser. It sounds extreme, but we've paid dearly for that bit of wisdom. Every time a courser is spotted, death and destruction follows. Well, you guys didn't have me before. Well, I want to help, though. Can I lend a hand? Yes. Ticonderoga safe house has gone dark, and I need you to check it out. Hopefully, this is a milk run. But if you do find a courser there, kill it. If there's no survivors, then your cover remains intact. Uh, so you want me to risk my cover? Is this really worth risking my cover? Glory needs to evacuate Dayton, and you're the only other heavy we have. And if we don't use you now, soon there won't be any railroad left. I suppose you have... A point there. Don't worry, I got it under control then. I'll take care of it. Get to it then. Lori, pick your team. I could use the doc. Mr. Smiley too. Where Come is on. she? Grab anything you need from Tinker oh. Tom. <laughs> anything? It's not open season yet. But take what you need from me. Oh, I will. Everyone, we may have to evac on a moment's notice. Where is Tinker Tom? I want to see if I could buy Bet you never met a synth before, some heavy. Even a few Tinker Tom specialty. <laughs> Alright, yeah, whatever you say, man. 
Let's take a look. <clears throat> take a look. Let me see here. Well, I guess let's go to weapons first and see if there's anything we can potentially buy. I doubt it, to be honest. No, there's nothing. All right, so we got... Do we have any heavy combat armor? Honestly, I don't know. Uh, doesn't look like it, so I'm not gonna worry about it. There's Demona. Look, they're, they're trying to kill you. Demona. If Tycon falls, we'll be running out of places to hide since. All right. Well, I guess we're gonna have to switch the mission for now. So Operation Ticonderoga. We'll stop this for now. Well, we're not we're not gonna complete that period. So we got Operation Ticonderoga tracking. So we're good. We're gonna go ahead and leave it right here right now, guys. In the next video, we're definitely gonna pick it up right here, right where we left off. Man, this this is it's starting to get really deep for the instant for the uh, railroad right now, man. The uh, institute wants them dead. The Brotherhood wants them dead. Damn near everybody except for the Minutemen wants them dead. So hey, gotta figure this out, right? But if you enjoyed this video, do me a huge favor, drop a like on this video. Also subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed, because it really does help this channel grow. So with that being said, catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.